today we came to Apopka Wildlife Drive. We just started our drive here and I started loving it already. There's lots of birds around. You have to like pay closer attention to find those birds. But there are tons of birds I have seen already. And the settings of the wetland is kind of like what I was uh, grown up with in Bangladesh, especially in the countryside or village areas. It's breathtaking, very relaxing. I'm loving it. So I might go quiet time to time, but um, I'll keep doing the videos to share with you guys. There are many cars in the front driving slowly to enjoy and take closer looks of the wildlife areas here. I see some birds here. I don't know their English name but in Bengali they are called Dahuk. I'll focus on one of them once I find them again. They have really distinct orangish red beak. Didn't see one yet. I wonder if there are like alligators in this wetland. I have not seen one yet, but there might be. coming up here yeah I see one of that bird look at the beak and part of their head area it's cleaning up and organizing its feather outside is 95 degrees today so birds are enjoying taking bath and drying up their feathers. There's a mom and baby in front. I think there are more, there are more birds here. The mom and baby. Yeah, I see a mom with her baby. You can see the baby here. Mom went under shed. Oops, the baby is gone too. I think they can hear the car noise and trying to find a safer place. But one guy is still out here, you can see. Nice, very nice. I guess there are more over here. Yeah. There you go. The baby is behind her. Now I have to find out the English name for this bird. I'm gonna put in the description box of this video so you can find out the English name of this bird. But in Bengali, it's called Dahuk. You can see line of cars, fleet of cars heading towards deeper in the wetland areas. And it's amazing that this area is free of cost to enter. It's maintained by um, St. John's River. St. John's River Authority and um, 
they even have volunteers at the gates who are really cordial and friendly. If you are coming here for the first time, those volunteers will hand over the map to you and will really explain which way to go and what to expect or not in a very friendly way. And today, um, one lady was our, um, you know, kind of guide at the gate and she was explaining in a very nice way and um, her attire was also very uh, nature friendly she was wearing uh, earrings um, which were like woodpeckers i thought it's interesting to mention I can see the I, I can see more more birds here. It's very nice. You can see the reflection of the sky in the water because uh, some areas um, there are no um, plants. There is an alligator right here. Okay, coming up is an alligator, I guess. Yeah, alligator. Yep, I was thinking we'll be able to find the look of an alligator. Yes, it is just picking its head out of water. You can see its eyes. It's not blinking, it's just keeping its eyes open and just sitting still over there, I think waiting to hunt some fish or um, little or big creatures around. It's amazing. So yeah, these wetland areas have tons of alligators, I guess. So that will be another good way to enjoy your time watching some alligators here as well. Really soothing drive. And the best part is like it's 95 degrees outside, but I'm not feeling anything, any heat or anything since I'm in the car. So that's the beauty of coming to this place. You don't have to get off of your car. No, you don't have to park your car and you don't have to walk around to enjoy this beautiful nature. You can just do it in the comfort of your uh, staying in the own, staying in your car, listening to music maybe, or if you have any friends or your spouse or family in the car, that would be eventually on the top all can enjoy this nature. There is another alligator coming in the front and in the meanwhile we can see some birds here and there. Yeah, there is an alligator moving. Let's see. Yeah, it has tons of grass-like weeds on its on its back and head so pretty much oh my gosh it's camouflaging you can you can see you'll feel like the weeds in the water is moving but it's it's an alligator underneath it wow that is so amazing i read about alligators like they do on this kind of things to fool the birds or animals in the water that um, they will stay underneath the weeds and move around so their prey will not notice it or will not know that somebody is gonna come and hunt them 
but that's how they do I just saw it in my eyes so yeah let's see I think this road is gonna take a turn to the left here and on the left there are gonna be more um, wetland areas and more fun nature watch here you go um, let's see I'm trying to focus the baby with her mom wow i think these babies are born just recently i think this is the breeding season for this bird which i call dahuk because i don't know their english name but i'm gonna find out but look at this it's just so amazing it's breathtaking so cool the baby bird is just wandering around with the mom with search for food and having so much fun here you go all right I'll let them eat and roam around I'm gonna go find some more fun stuff around Right here we go so we are making a left I don't think there is a straight way to go or, or left it's, on the right. oh, it's kind of a like detour but taking to the same road again hmm. name of we this road is road. last road L U S T last so I guess it makes sense if you come over here some of your last for wildlife watch is gonna be fulfilled I can tell you that look at the sky so beautiful and the palm tree and some of the taro plants I don't know what kind of taro it is um, I heard there are like two main species. One is Alocasia, which is not edible, and another kind of taro is Calocasia, that is edible. I didn't know that before, so um, I have to be careful about that. Before I used to think <clears throat> we can eat any kind of taros that I used to see around and we have tons of taros in Bangladesh everywhere and when I started living in Florida I also used to think oh my gosh if someday I could have reached to these taros around the road everywhere and could get some of those and eat as vegetable cooked vegetable that would have been so nice but later I came to learn that you cannot actually eat any kind of taros it has to be a particular kind which is edible if you ever been to Bangladesh or you have watched <coughs> nature video of Bangladesh you would know what I am capturing now is totally like Bangladesh countryside of Bangladesh I guess that's probably another reason I'm really loving having the tour at this place really enjoyable there are some cat's tail grass over here more taros and then 
palm tree, the wide open sky, blue and then some cotton like clouds. It's just amazing. It's so beautiful here. Amazing natural drive. There are few places um, where you can go for wildlife um, watching in Florida near Orlando areas but um, we are at Lake, Lake Apopka area wildlife watch and this is uh, free free of charge um, but if you go to like Mary Thailand area um, <coughs> As far as I know, there is another wildlife refuge area which used to be free of uh, cost at the entrance before but I guess since past 3-4 years um, they made it like uh, some kind of entrance fee to get there. Uh, so, and I think I have been to both. I, I came here for the first time though, but it looks similar to the Mary Thailand Wildlife Refuse, um, except this is the uh, free entrance. So oh, if you are good. wondering, uh, someone in my car <laughs> is saying this is much better than the Mary Thailand Wildlife Refuse. Is that what you said? Yeah. Nice. So I got a double check from somebody who is saying this area is much nicer. Look at this little stand and a bird is sitting sitting there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Is it a, is it a crow or it's a different bird? Can you tell? It's some sort of bird. It's standing here under a shed um, with some kind of information written on the stand here or you know podium here I cannot see it from here but okay so it took a flight there you go it's going somewhere else let's see oh wow yeah I found more alligator let's see I can focus that uh, where is it? There you go, yeah. You can see yeah, here. Yeah, so the alligator is there. There, you can see part of its body. I actually didn't plan or didn't think of bringing my um, video camera for doing uh, my YouTube videos so I just have my smartphone with me and just thought of capturing what I can using this one to share with you all because I'm pretty sure many of you will like to have a look at this nature but why I'm saying this is that my other camera has really good um, zoom in feature which could have captured the alligator here much better but anyways um, I think you guys will still love it <laughs> all right nice I loved this area and then you must take down the left side or that is the only one the oh, left side is very nice and in the front you see the fleet of cars and I can see in the water there are some alligators movement there uh, so people are like you know putting their cars to a stall and then um, watching those alligators moving around and someone in my car said the left side of this area 
is the must watch so I'm taking a view of that yeah it's really nice it's wide open view you can see the clear blue sky and cotton like um, clouds and um, wetland areas with some sorts of um, water lily I think uh, those are I don't know what they call in Bangladesh these plants are called kuchuri pana I forgot the English name for it uh, it's some kind of hyacinth I guess but I'll find out and put in the description box and some uh, cat's tail um, grass over here alright so we can slowly we can slowly move forward all right here i'm gonna show you another alligator which is moving pretty fast and it looks fearless which should be because alligators are really powerful so who are they gonna fear about in the water right and um, it's kind of honest because it's not fooling the uh, little birds or animals around by uh, being underneath all those weeds so you can see here okay wow this is really really cool look at that it's going a little bit down and then came up again oh my gosh it must be a big one you can tell six, six, seven feet. at least six to seven feet long and as I can see it doesn't blink it's so amazing it's constantly kept its eye open I can see one eye that's why I said eye open it's going I think it's trying to take it on Nice, huh? So now I'll let you guys enjoy the nature and listen to this fun music a little bit. Even though you won't understand the meaning, but it's really soothing to listen. Thank you. 
হইলে পঞ্চায়েতের বলে প্রদীপ কাঙালে বিচার পাইতাম মানুষ ছিল সরল ছিল ধর্ম বল মানুষ ছিল সরল ছিল ধর্ম বল এখন সবে ছাগল বড় লোক হইতাম হাইরে এখন সবে ছাগল বড় লোক হইতাম আগে কি সুন্দর দিন ছাটাইতাম আমরা আগে কি সুন্দর দিন ছাটাইতাম সেদিনার পাবনা ছিল বাসনা সুখী হইতাম দিন হতে দিন আসে যে কঠিন দিন হতে দিন আসে যে কঠিন কঠিন দিন দিন কই লুকাইতাম হাইরে like a sand hill crane or other other types of crane I guess they are just relaxing here probably had their lunch and trying to take a nap here and view of this wetland again Here, here goes another alligator, um, it has just its eye area out of the water and a little bit of its body part, wow, and I don't know left side of it, I see some kind of ripple in the water, I don't know what is this for. Maybe some other fish or something was around, but got scared by the alligator and moved away. You see another refill of water there. Alright, so at least I can say, if you want to take a closer look of alligators, but from a safe distance, staying in your car, in the comfort of AC blowing cold air, you can come here to this Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. I highly recommend actually. Very nice. Alright, so the alligator is going away. And we are going to move forward now. To watch the rest of this area. So let's go. And it's just dirt road. That gives me feeling of riding in the countryside in Bangladesh and my car stereo is playing some Bangladeshi music too Bangladeshi folk songs which I'm really loving to listen to on this ride I think um, we are going to have similar views of nature 
um, in the next few miles this drive is uh, 11 miles so I think in the rest of the drive we are gonna see some similar nature and its creatures around so for now I guess this is gonna be it for today thank you so much for staying with me watching this video and um, I am really happy to share my experience this afternoon um, on my ride to this beautiful uh, wildlife watching area at Lake Apopka. Hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe my channel if you uh, like to watch nature garden and fun videos um, and thank you so much again see you later